Stage seven of Paris-Nice took the riders up into the high mountains. The only summit finish up at the Col de Torigny for just the second time in the race's history. 155 kilometres with one classified climb to come before the final test itself. A ride up the valley and a 15 kilometre rise at 7.3%. Snow awaited the riders up at the top. It was a cold day, but thankfully no precipitation. A group of 18 riders got up the road. Franck Bonamour the most dangerous at over five minutes in the general classification, and they were never allowed more than a minute and a half. Megan Marco asking that question in rather jovial style of Luke Rowe. And once the climb began, the brake knew that their days were numbered. Ineos Grenadiers and Arkea Samsic have worked all day to control the breakaway. Try to set up their various GC leaders, Adam Yates, Danny Martinez and Naido Quintana. Second place, Simon Yates was following as well. And with only three riders left in the breakaway, 10 kilometres to go, Gregor Mühlberger tried his own luck. It was always going to be difficult though. By this stage, Rohan Dennis was riding for the race leader. Primoz Roglic. Matteo Jorgensen would struggle to hold on on the back. He'd be on his way to seeding his white jersey as the best young rider in the race. And Adam Yates started the party at the front. His attack with just over seven kilometers to go set the GC pulses racing. Naido Quintana would try to follow him. That drew out Primoz Roglic and Dani Martinez who was marking. Adam Yates was caught. And then Danny Martinez came over the top, just as Simon Yates was getting on for bike exchange, Jaco. Not long, though, before Primoz Roglic decided to attack himself. Six kilometres remained, taking matters into his own hands and swallowing up Mühlberger. The break was done. Danny Martinez was straight on the wheel, and Simon Yates set off in chase, dropping his brother, but bringing Naido Quintana with him. Roglic looks so powerful. Behind, a group involving Jack Haig, as well as Mauri von Sevenant surviving and racing into the best young leader's jersey. We're at about 20 seconds. Into the final couple of kilometres, and Simon Yates tried his luck. They'd all be having a go at each other, with Nairo Quintana continuously distanced. But he keep coming back. Trying to take advantage of the tactical stalemate. Joao Almeida had made his way across as well. But by this time we're into the final 300 metres. And with 200 to go, Primoz Roglic made his move. The yellow jersey with just a few days of racing in his legs. At his first stage race of 2022, taking his first victory. He's now just one day away from taking another GC title. The yellow jersey adding time and bonus seconds to his lead. Primoz Roglic finishing the job ahead of Martinez and Simon Yates. Quintana coming across in fourth. And a good recovery from Joao Almeida after a poor start to the week. Roglic asked the question and responding emphatically. So Roglic beating Martinez, Yates, Quintana, Almeida with McNulty, Haig, Adam Yates, Martin and Pools all in the top 10, separated by 56 seconds on the day. And in the yellow jersey again at the top of the Col de Turini, Primoz Roglic is one day away from victory of Paris-Nice, but he was in this position in 2021. This time he has a 47 second lead, Simon Yates is second, Danny Martinez is third at one minute as Pierre Latour drops to eighth at 2.56. So can Roglic hold on? One more stage to go, 115 kilometres in the back hills around Nice. Five climbs and the famous Col d'Aise to finish things off. You can catch all the action live or on demand on GCN Plus and Discovery Plus.